my friends. Okay, what a day. I don't even know how to start this. I always say that when I have big news. So, I'm late and this morning, Adam and I had to go take him for his drug test. So, he actually went out for a run and I was going to take a test because I had one in the house and he came back early before I had a chance to do it. But my friends were telling me that I need to do it in the morning. Not that anyone knows, but like they told me last time I thought this was the case that um, you have to take it in the morning because during the day, as you drink more water, it dilutes the hormones. So I took the test, threw it in my purse. We went to go get the drug test. I looked at the test when he went inside and it was like a very faint line on the pregnancy one, but I was like, it's true because of the way I feel, ouch, and I'm late. And so I dropped him off at home and I told him I was gonna get a manicure. We worked out and then I told him I was gonna get a manicure, but I went to Target instead. And I got another test, which was like pregnant without even waiting three minutes. So I can't even believe I'm saying this. I feel like Raw Beauty Christy, shout out to her, who's due any day. So I got these little baby onesies. It says, I love you more. So cute, so loved, so happy. They didn't have too many to choose from. And I got a little card in a bag and I'm gonna wrap this up and give it to Adam for his birthday, which of course I'm gonna get on video. So that's what we're doing now. The only person in the whole entire world that knows is my best friend. Literally, Adam got out of the car and I was like, I texted her like, do you have a minute? I need to tell you something while he's not here. And then she was the cutest thing in the whole entire world because when she, she was like, do you need me to come out there and bring you snacks? Because that's how we deal with things in life. And yeah, I don't even know what else to say. I'm freaking out. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. And you know me. I always pick up the camera and film when big things in my life happen because I share things with you guys, but I'm not making any sense because, wow, just wow. Okay, you can't hear me over the paper. Here we go. I'll be back with Adam. Mwah. All right, it's on. I went to go get a manicure <laughs> and I derailed myself because... I saw something that Adam had to have, and his birthday is what, next week? But I couldn't wait, so I, I got it. Is it next? It's not even next week yet. I know, but I got it, <laughs> and I wrapped it in the car, and oh, I came home saying my manicure, but of course, we have to film this because you're going to have a birthday vlog. What? This is crazy. Why is it crazy? I got to open the car first. Yes, you do. My birthday's out for like two weeks. That's okay. I just couldn't wait. Uh, uh, the top 10 things a dad <laughs> would never say. <laughs> Why yes, you can have more money. I've got an endless supply of it. Number nine, there's no need to ask your mother. I'm allowing you to do anything you want. <laughs> Number eight, I admit it, we're lost. Especially when you have a driver like me. Mm. Seven, resting my eyes. Baloney. I was definitely <laughs> sleeping. Six, why should I try to fix this when we can pay a qualified professional? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Five, fight all you want. There's no way I'm turning this car around. Four, kids today are keenly aware of how good they have it. Right. <laughs> Three, I'm tired of changing channels. You can take the remote. Number two, you don't need a curfew. After all, you're 14. And the number one thing a dad would never say is, when I was your age, everything was awesome. Dad, hope everything is awesome on your birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I can't wait to meet you after I do nine months on the inside. What is that? That explains my dad mood. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> excited. I'm excited. Oh. Well, are you gonna open the present? 
That is the present, right? Well, I guess. Oh, God. Come here. Did you see the part about good time? Did I see the one? Did you get to the part about good time? No, I didn't even get that. After I do nine months on the inside, hopefully for mommy's sake, with good time. I'm a little scared to show us. It's all right. <laughs> I couldn't find any really teeny ones, but this one's... Mmm. Yep, so it's official. It is December 28th as I am filming this video and I just wanted to come in with an update because I know you guys have so many questions, ask away. That first video was filmed in, in November. And so as of today, I am currently 10 weeks. A lot of you guys have been adorable and you've been so concerned about the way I look. You said I look like I've been sick. I need to take care of myself more. It's like I'm pouring myself into Adam. Somebody even said I look like I lost too much weight, which is funny because I've gained already about seven to 10 pounds because all this baby wants is carbs. And all this baby wants are crappy carbs and chocolate. I could live on chocolate. I could bathe in chocolate, but I probably look like I've lost weight because my face gets sunken in and under my eyes get really hollow when I'm sick or when I'm not feeling well. It's just my shape of my face. It's my genetics. But now you guys know why I have been ridiculously sick. Uh, it let up about eight, eight weeks was when I could start kind of doing stuff again. So here's the thing with me. I don't physically get sick. I feel like I'm going to get sick. Like I, I can count on one hand the amount of times in the past probably 20 or 25 years that I physically have gotten sick. But it's almost to the point where I want to get sick because I feel like it would alleviate some of the pain. Tons of nausea. I need to eat every hour to hour and a half. Otherwise, I feel like my stomach is sour, burning, eating itself, nauseous. Uh, there aren't too many things that I have many aversions to, but things that I think about and I'm like, oh no, like edamame. I used to love edamame, especially at this one place, Lazy Dog. They make them with like spices and ginger and um, garlic and red pepper. And I used to love it. And now just the thought of it, I could, no thanks. So that's why I disappeared for a few weeks on YouTube. If you go back and watch a couple of the videos late November, early December, you'll, you'll see now that I was just so sick. One of my girlfriends whom I'm very, very close with was adorable cause she knows. And she was like, Oh girl, I could tell you were so sick. And it was just kind of one of those try to smile and breathe through it. So about two days before I turned eight weeks that let up like all day, every day, I'll still get it, but I'll get it basically when I'm hungry, if I've gone too long without eating and it won't last as long, as long as I eat and I eat decent, like carby, starchy. Two days after, like literally right after that, I had two days of relief and then I hit eight weeks and I had other stomach issues. I'm sorry if this is TMI, you guys, but I figured, hey, you guys might want to know. And two, um, I don't know. I feel like I need to share this stuff with you guys so you could see that dreams actually come true. If you just push and fight hard enough and believe in them. I always said that I always wanted to be a mom. I felt like my life wasn't complete without being a mom, but I kind of turned myself off to that because I thought it wasn't going to be in the cards for me. And I was okay with that. I was totally content. I accepted that. And acceptance is a huge thing in life. I talked about wow in life i've talked about that on other videos i accepted that it might not be in the cards for me and i was totally fine so adam and i weren't necessarily trying for this but we weren't preventing it as well if that makes sense clearly i'm fertile myrtle over here because it didn't take very long a couple of guy friends were like Psh, of course because those guys come out marching and ready to go it's been 20 years i'm sorry if that was offensive i don't mean to be offensive to anybody but you guys know my sense of humor and I'm gonna be real and raw and honest with you guys. I went through a depression the first two, three weeks immediately after I found out. I, the day that I took the test earlier in this video that I posted, fell asleep on the couch maybe 6.30 at night, 
woke up maybe three o'clock in the morning and was having anxiety and I was really panicky. That lasted for two or three days. Now, the being exhausted and tired has also lasted, but I was really anxious about sharing this with my family because Adam and I aren't married. My family's pretty old school. They had not met him yet. And financially, like, are we in a position where we could handle this? All kinds of stuff. And the way that I handle the unknown is I get really, I try to like push it away and keep it at arm's length and I could almost get negative about it because it's me protecting myself, right? And so I don't know anything about pregnancy. I know barely anything about having newborns. I know like toddlers and up, but younger than that because I always kind of blocked it out because I didn't think it was gonna happen for me. So all of this was so new. Also, I have been into fitness and fitness competitions and working out and I was always able to pretty much control everything that was going on with my body. So if I felt a little twinge or a pain or this or that, I knew how to fix it. And if I felt like I was gonna throw up during a workout or if I was gonna pass out during a workout, I knew how far I could push. I knew I could push through it. I knew everything was fine. But with this, I know nothing about it. So I am out of breath constantly. And everybody I spoke to, including the doctor said it's totally normal. And I feel nauseous very easily. Obviously I'm still in the first trimester and I'm exhausted, but especially during my workouts. Now I've had tons of different people. Most people are like, you have to stop working out. You have to be careful. You can't do this. You can't do that. I spoke to both my OBGYN and my orthopedist, and I was cleared to continue my workouts the way that I work out until second semester semester. No, no. See, she knows nothing. Second trimester will revisit that. But as of now, I'm okay to do everything. I am not working out nearly as much as I was because I just don't have the stamina, the energy. Uh, I just don't feel good. And the breath, the breath, especially when I go into, I take a couple of Phoenix CrossFit classes a week, which I love, love, love. And it's the only thing I can do cardiovascularly because like I said, I spoke to an orthopedist. I have a knee injury that I can't really get fixed right now because of pregnancy so I can't run or jump so I'm trying to keep my cardiovascular my heart in shape like in, as healthy as I can right now so I'm babbling way 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 too much but let's go back so I went off on a tangent two days after I hit eight weeks I discovered that part of pregnancy especially first trimester and then again third trimester is your digestion slows down tremendously so baby has more time to take nutrients from the food that you're eating nutrients vitamins minerals all of that fun stuff and so I was having horrific I'm still having horrific GI issues which if I ever had that issue in the past naturally without being pregnant I know exactly what foods to go to what to do in order to fix it unfortunately my body has my digestion has slowed down so much and also the only thing in the world so far that's making me insanely sick believe it or not is water I'm having such a hard time drinking water I tried to put stuff like cucumbers and berries and stuff like that in my water it didn't work tried to drink my water warm I thought maybe it was the cold something about fluids I looked it up on a couple of the pregnancy apps that I've been on and it's a common thing fluids make people really ill uh ill like nauseous I feel almost as if my stomach stomach turns sour and then I need to eat carbs right away because it feels like I'm gonna I need to be sick and my stomach I don't want to say it's like eating itself you guys who have been pregnant help me find the words I can't find them right now and if you guys that have been pregnant if you want to give tips below please do but that's the issue that I've been experiencing now my doctor gave me I love 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 my OBGYN by the way she is no bull crap she is straight to the point but cool and what else can I tell you guys? We're gonna do a gender reveal. We are finding out what we're having because I am, my sister said it so lovely because she did it, she had babies a little bit older too. I am a geriatric pregnancy, but that word alone makes me nauseous. But my doctor's like, you can go to high risk if you want. You're perfectly healthy, you don't have to. But along with being an older mom, an older pregnancy, I'm 42, for you guys that don't know, I can get a blood test 
as early as 10 weeks. Like I said, I just hit 10 weeks on Thursday. And along with finding out any kind of genetic disorders, issues, any Down syndrome, anything along those lines, I will also, can also find out the gender. So when I was at the doctor, it was funny. All of the men, the partners, were having to wait out in the outside of the doctor's office so not in like the lobby reception area in the lobby outside of the office itself and then for ultrasounds and the doctor part they were allowed to come in which was really awkward because I had to get a pap smear in front of Adam and that's fine he who cares in fact it was even better so I'm like you see what we got we have to go to he's like you were wincing kind of I could hear what was going on that down there uh and i I was embarrassed about it. I was just like, that's a little awkward, but what else? Here, hold my pants. Um, so we heard the baby's heartbeat. Uh, we are gonna get that genetic test. We are gonna find out what we're having. And we of course will do a gender reveal for you guys. So what videos do you want? Because now that I've babbled enough, I wanna find out what you wanna hear about. Do you guys want more pregnancy videos? Do you guys want pregnancy over 40 videos? Do you guys want no pregnancy videos, which I'm probably going to talk about it because it's a huge part of my life right now. What do you guys want? And I have to also give a shout out, a, an enormous shout out and so much love to my dear, dear, dear friend, Lisa, who I met here through YouTube, but she lives here in Vegas and she has been one of my dearest friends here. It's like one of those people who you meet and you instantly know I, I could trust her. If I have something going on with the baby, let's say in the future, I could call her and I would have no issue being like, hey, would you mind babysitting? Which is such a relief. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm also very emotional and cranky. Not that I needed to say that, right? Blame it on the ho, 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 ho hormones. She has been so helpful and such a doll and she has two kids. So she's been just kind of giving me the 411. She sat with me for hours at the nail salon. I'm like, I should pay you for your time you've given me more information than the doctor even and then Adam and I went to her house for dinner and while her husband and Adam were hanging out we sat for another couple hours and it was just like tips after tips after tips after tips so girl thank you I love you um you have been such an angel and a blessing my family was super supportive about it there is one sister that does not know she wasn't available on Christmas. So I have to get in touch with her and let her know prior to posting this video. I just want to respect my family and let them all know before I announce it online. So I'm actually going to call her right now so I could edit and post this video because we are running out of time. I cannot hide this for much longer. You guys are so concerned about my health. And although I've been sick, it's for a good reason. So let me know what you guys want to see. I love you. Oh, am I showing yet? I think so. Like I definitely lost my abs at well it's funny adam and i went to california i think the baby might have been conceived i was joking with him i was like we should name her monica if it's a girl because she was probably conceived in santa monica but i don't know that for a fact anyway um early late october early november and i posted a picture because he was jokingly helping me not jokingly at all he was helping me dye my roots i can't reach the back of my head and along with a geriatric pregnancy, I guess comes gray hair. Just kidding, that's been since 27. But I posted a picture in the bathroom with him and I was wearing a sports bra and that was the last time I remember like having full abs. And then towards the end of the night, I've got a gut and you can kind of see that I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a bump going on. The girls, whew, that's how I knew. That's really how I knew was just because of the pain in that situation, but they're, huge so of course as soon as i get like an actual bump i will post pictures because those are fun and i am trying this week to reel in my junk food eating a little bit because i think i said this i gained like seven to ten pounds and we're only at ten weeks it's still the first trimester and i think you're supposed to gain two and that's just because i was going from eating oatmeal in the morning that was really the only carbs except for fruit that i was eating throughout the day to needing starch all day long but it turned into like rice cakes and sweet potatoes, which is fine. I, I need it and I have no problem eating it and I suggest eating it. But then it went to like bread and chocolate and gluten all day, every day, every hour or two. And that's just not healthy for me or the baby. So we're gonna rein that back in. I'm actually in the parking lot of the grocery store right now. I have a whole bunch of groceries in the trunk and I have like sweet potatoes and rice cakes. And of course I have chocolate and that's totally fine. But I'm just trying to not go overboard with that. I also 
looked on one of the apps and I got lemons to try to get my water down. Maybe like lemon and cayenne pepper because spicy is still really good for me to eat. It doesn't make me sick or doesn't give me heartburn yet or anything like that. And uh, maybe like a little bit, you, like make like a lemonade type of a situation out of it. And if that doesn't work, somebody had suggested vegetable broth, which why not? Because that helps your immune system anyway. So I said I was going to end this like a hundred times. You hear how out of breath I am, but this is me and we babble. So there are the updates. Adam is over the moon ecstatic. Adam has been literally a godsend. I mean, always, but he has been cooking and cleaning and doing the laundry and helping me. And I've been so cranky that we're together all the time. So he's the one that kind of gets the brunt of me getting snippy and snappy and hangry and pregnant -y. So, you know, I guess it's what he has to deal with considering I have to deal with all the fun, exciting changes to my body and sickness and nausea and all of that. But I'm kidding. He's been incredible. So, and of course he's just over the moon to be a dad. He said he didn't realize how much he wanted that or needed it until it was actually presented to him. So there's that. I love you guys. Let me know which questions you have. Let me know what advice, suggestions, comments, videos you want in the future. Obviously there'll be a gender reveal. Um, whatever you guys want. I love you guys. And there's my big news. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.